close to the clock. Okay, what's up, y'all? You know, Sam's office hours here. Nate came up with a very good question about fitting multiple lines. And after a lot of Sam's uh, wonders, we've got it going. Nate, feel free to chime in here. Um, you want to say what the issue you were having? Okay, so the issue I had was with MATLAB, it won't let you plot a line of best fit for, like, say, if you have more than one data set plotted on the same chart, you can't have a line of best fit for each one. You can only do one at a time. And I wanted to have a line of best fit for each of the different materials in my wing deflection. Perfect. Thank you for chiming in. Uh, and so the solution, I don't personally know how to do that on the plot. And when he was trying to do that, like try to add a line of best fit onto each plot, it was taking away the line of best fit from the previous line. So from the previous data set, the line of best fit was disappearing. And so the way we can get around that is we can actually do um, the MATLAB's polyfit tool, which you can always go, uh, you know, help polyfit and see what the syntax is for it. And so this is what MATLAB uses when you do your fit anyway. So what you do is you feed it your X value. So in this case, we were looking at the wingspan. And then we feed it a Y value. And what Nate wanted to look at was the wood deflection uh for the wing deflection in meters here for the wood and then this is where you'll have to plot it initially just so you can see what order your fit is because this number here is going to be what order your fit is so if you're doing a linear fit that's called a first order fit and so you put a one here if you're doing a quadratic that's a second order fit so you would put a two here and what the polyfit's going to output is it's going to output your different fit coefficients and so that might be You'll have like you know second order, you call it a B2, that's gonna be the first thing out. A first order, that's what you're gonna call B1, and that's gonna be the second thing out. And then your constant or your B naught, that's gonna be the third thing out. And so you have to set something equal to that to hold these temporarily. And so that's where you put this in. And you can you can call it whatever you want to call it. And then what you're gonna do is you can do like a semicolon and then a space to keep it all in the same line. This is equivalent just to doing this. And then you can do you know, your second order is going to be equal to the first thing out. So that's where you put a one. And usually I previously said the first order is going to be the second. And you can return those and see the constants. And then to plot that line of best fit, all you have to do is do a similar plot. And then you're going to do your second order fit times your x value squared. In this case, it's span. So times that squared. Then your first order coefficient times just your x value. And then times your, or then plus your constant. And that's all, this is all your y value here. So you're just calculating your line of best fit in the plot line itself. And so you're going to do a linear fit. This is what it would look like here because you wouldn't have a second order. And then when you plot that, you can see there are my coefficients there. And here's the plot. Here, oops. Here's the plot. And so you get a nice fit. And then your equation of best fit would just be this times x squared plus this times x plus this. And that's how you could fit multiple plots. Stop this recording.